Hello everybody, it's Karen Connor here. I'm sharing with you from the creative art collaboration group that I'm in. And our hashtag for October is Think Pink Art. Cool, huh? We are doing it in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness, uh, which is in the month of October. And I want to share with you what we're going to be making today. Um, I've been wanting to paint on glass for a while, and Deco Art has got a whole line of uh, glass paints and markers and all kinds of things and so we're going to use a couple of them um, to create this piece okay so the first thing you want to do is use regular rubbing alcohol uh, and clean your glass because you don't want any fingerprints or anything hindering, hindering your paint and today um, another thing they sell are these special soft brush brushes for glass okay and you get a set of three and you just go to decoart.com and you can purchase uh, any of these products. Um, another good thing are these pouncers. We're not going to use that in this one, but uh, in another one that I'm going to be doing this week for the um, month of October, we will be. We're also using black and royal fuchsia glossy enamels and white. Okay, The white will come with the flowers. And they have markers, deco, deco Art Glass paint markers. So we'll be using black and the fuchsia, okay? Um, to get us started, <clears throat> we kind of, um, if you're like me, I have to be able to get my um, proportions right. And um, I just have been using this, <coughs> this, um, regular foam plate here to put some of my ink on and it doesn't take much uh, for this at all so I've kind of loaded my brush is about all I've done then you're just gonna kindly start right here I'm looking at my other one and don't worry right yet about the shape or size we basically at this point are trying to get the proportion on here and I'm not real good I had to clean it does take practice I'm used to acrylic paint and doing layers and we're not gonna be doing a lot of layers to this we will be coming back after it dries and it does take all night to dry uh, I don't know if it's because I'm heavy-handed with it which I want good coverage. And then what I did was I did a jelly plate for my background. You don't paint the whole thing on the glass. You can put whatever background behind it that you like. So I got my jelly plate out, which I love and adore. And I also can show you the technique for that. So I'm pretty happy with that shape. Um, I even like this brush. The uh, bristles are not flat. So, and I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave that. And you clean with regular soap and water, okay? Uh, the other brush is this round brush right here. And you want to kind of eyeball where your flowers are going to be. And I loaded my, my brush up quite a bit um, with this to get my petals. Let's see, we've got one right here. And I got a piece of paper under this just so you can see. So you kind of just eyeballing it and then you know you're going to leave your circle for your center and then we're going to have one down here and the more paint you have on your brush the better the texture is actually so I kind of liked it so I'm going with quite a bit of it and if you get into your center area, no worries. It will paint right over top of it, so that's okay. But you kind of just have to lay down your brush. Is about all you're doing to create your petals. It moves pretty quickly here. I do think the one in the middle does need to be the largest. And then the rest of them can be as big or as little as you want. Um, the example of... Oh, I've done stuck my hand in it. 
real good. It happens. It happens. Uh, the example that I saw was on Pinterest, and of course it was just a painting. So I'm trying to kind of replicate that um, into this design because I loved it. And um, I think that other people will love this as well. And I have a lot of friends that have cancer. Um, I would love for you to be praying for Katie Burnett, who is in the hospital right now. Her cancer has returned, and um, they're thinking she may have jaundice, actually, right now. And her system is very, very weak. She's very um, in need of prayer. The chemo is not working anymore. And as you know, I'm a cancer survivor of um, 10 years now. I had osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer, in my right bottom jaw. And they had to take my jaw out. Uh, well, I had five months of chemo first because I had to shrink the tumor down. And then that's when they took my jaw out after I'd had five months of chemo. And then um, I had to come back and finish up with about five more months of chemo after they did the surgery just to be sure that all the cancer cells were gone. And they put a bone from my leg and my jaw. I'll be posting some pictures at the end of my what I look like. Um, I never want to forget that though because God has brought me through a lot and I'm very, very, very thankful. And I would not be alive today if it were not for the Lord Jesus Christ and Him just miraculously being there for me. Um, Alright, so now here's your centers. Now I just kind of made a circle and I wanted some of that white in there. I like it. Now you do yours any way you want. Uh, technically, my cancer um, is not pink. It is, well, it is pink, but it also is supposed to have yellow daisies. But um, for the type of cancer that I had, I guess you know, every cancer has a different color. So anyway, this is about it for this part because we've got to let this dry overnight. So, I'm going to stop the video, uh, get set up with my jelly plate so I can show you how I did my background, okay? I think that's pretty good. We gotta, we're off to a good start. So, let me reset up. I'll be right back. This next part, I'm using Americana Decor Chalky Finish in Carbon, Yesteryear, and Relic, okay? And just a round brush here, okay? Um, the way that I did it, and I did it, I tried it several different ways, as you can see. The one that I ended up liking the best, I took and drew some circles first. And if you kind of do this, it won't, light-handedly, it won't take as long to dry. I'm using my white leftover enamel on this part. I don't like wasting paint. I don't know about you. And just leave the white in your brush. Pick you up some black. And this black is not, I don't think it's mixed up good. I'm going to try again. And with this paint as well, it's um, soap and water cleanup. Let's see. Because you want a little black stripe. You know, uh, not stripe, but kindly. Because you want the depth of the different colors. And then once this dries, we're going to cover it with that lightest gray yesteryear. Then we'll pull our print. Because I do, you want a little bit of black in there. I still don't have any black, but sometimes you just got to take what you get, huh? 
I'm still trying to add a little bit. Oh, see, that's that's kind of what I'd like to see. And everyone's going to be different, you know. Every pull, every time you do this, it's always different. So we've got to let this dry really good. Then you can't heat it with the heat tool. Darn it! You know I like speedy. Um. So instead of making you wait, I'll just cut this part out. Okay, this is dry, and we are ready to apply our base color with our brayer. Just cover the whole thing. This wets that dry bottom layer, hopefully, and it will come off on our paper. And this will be our background for our ribbon and flower vase. Oh yeah, this one's coming off better than the other one I had. That's great. See the texture and the circles? I really like it. It's going to look nice behind our thing. So all we got to do now is just wait for that enamel paint to dry and then we'll finish up the details of it and um, put our frame together. Okay, we're ready to finish up our details of our flowers. Um, I'm using a round brush for um, for the enamel paint. It's amazing what a crisp line you can get with this. Um, we're going to put in our, I hope it's thin enough, let's see. I could do this with the marker, and I did do this with the marker on my other one, but um, when it gets time, time for the leaves, I think they're going to look better with, with the brush. That's why I am switching over and using this brush for this. I've done a couple of other examples that you're going to see at the end of the video, so I hope that you'll stick around. Till the end. Your upside down ribbon is kind of your flower vase. I guess you've figured that out by now. You just place your leaves wherever you like. Now that I've done several um, several of these using uh, some of their, they have metallic as well. You're going to see a silver metallic on one of them that I did, and it dried faster than the regular enamel paint. I really really like it, and um, if you need to. Uh, some of them I needed to fade out some um, some of the black, and you can just I took another paintbrush that um, I had some alcohol on, and you can you can kindly manipulate the uh, enamel paint like that. So that was kind of neat to figure out. I think that's. Well, I think I'll put one right here. And if it if it gets opaque, uh, I mean transparent, and you want it opaque, then you just add a little more, and it will. And then you know, around the flower center, and you don't outline the whole flower petal. 
You do have to kindly reload it a little bit, okay, to keep your, your points sharp. I'm just barely, I'm barely touching uh, so I can use the tip end of this round brush, okay? Barely touching. And again, you can do as much or as little of this part as you want. I'm not going to keep you here for the whole thing. I think you get the idea here. And then, um, you're going to touch a few of the places on the ribbon. Now, um, I kind of like, I've got some white. I still have the fuchsia color on my palette. And, um, I'm going to loosely put them on each other to come back and, um, I don't mix them up completely. I kind of want to highlight some of it. Upper part here, and come around, and then I clean it. I come back with just straight fuchsia, and it helps blend it on in. Okay, and it thickens up the rest of it. You have to play with this part just a little bit, but you get the idea. I really love this fuchsia color. Really, really like it. Because you're going to come back and touch a little bit in black. So you're going to see my finished product where you need to put that black and uh, the highlights. I'll do some close-ups at the end. And I really appreciate y'all uh, sticking out with me. And I hope that you will get mam mammograms this month, colonostomies, whatever you need for your age. Okay? I love you. And I hope that you have a safe week. Bye.